traders it's Navarro and this is a quick video on a trade recap and a watch list for Monday January 24th 2022 we're looking at the spy right now before I get into this just a quick disclaimer guys this is for educational entertainment purposes only I'm not telling you what to buy or what to sell you trade at your own risk okay now let's move on uh, spy guys had this ascending wedge pattern and like I mentioned before it usually respects the trend lines it did in this time broke below and look at the volume increasing guys as it's moving and just really flushing down there's acceleration going on look at this huge red day just overall weakness in the market and uh, I see the next support level down here one two three support level at four four thirty so it still has room to go if it does not hold that 430 guys just brace yourself because um we don't know where it will stop or where it will bounce again we don't try to predict we react so right now uh growth stocks all of that stuff they probably need this to happen like i mentioned before we just need this market correction it's healthy for the market it's healthy for all those uh growth stocks to kind of come down gives a better entry and then we can go ahead and trade options again later on we know we can make money in both right now penny stocks is the way to go so with that said let's get into the watch list guys let's go over some of the trades the trade recap and then we'll go into the watch list and then i'm going to give you a little bonus guys so stay stay till the end watch the video till the end because this is for your educational and growing your trading knowledge so that you can become the best trader that you can to the best of your ability so let's go ahead and uh, check out AMST these are Friday's trades so we entered a swing trade on this day we held it on this day came up I sold it on the open and then I day traded it on Friday so I got two trades out of this one swing trade and then one day trade on Friday so what happened here let's go ahead and go to the five day five minute so again we entered on this day 115 entry I believe I added on this day on Thursday and then I exited on um, on Friday now I was expecting this move right off the open it didn't give it to us so I just took profits and then I just continued watching it I was entering other trades like you all know from the chat room we entered VBOS we'll go over that trade and we entered HEPS so we'll go over those two also in a bit for now AMST what happened today let's go ahead and go to the one day three minutes so that we can look at it better so it bounced off of the 120 level and why was i looking at that level because if we go to the one year one day guys you can see that the 50 ema was right there as well so i was expecting it to bounce or maybe just stay here this is what i was really looking forward to if it would have worked out the way i expected it to so it opened up here right this is where the open is this is the kind of red candle that i would have loved can't see it but let me just move it to the side so that it can give you an idea if we would have had this red candle and then kind of the following day get this I would have re-entered the trade for the move to 160 that's what I was expecting this would have been ideal because we know that the 50 EMA was you know being support and then we can trade the move higher but it just I this looked at it this is a pump and dump guys I think somebody in some chat room or maybe multiple chat rooms they called it out off of the bounce of 20 because I mean that move was just too fast it was too fast for this stock to to just make that kind of move it on its own so you know I saw this I couldn't enter at 125 where I wanted to enter I couldn't enter at 130 it was just too fast too fast and that's what happens when they get called out on those chat rooms and stuff like that and then they leave them holding the bag just like they, they probably did here so I entered at 135 there was the volume was picking up so you know this one was a stress-free trade for me understanding what was going on I did tell you I'm looking for 160 to take take off my trade right and from 135 which was the pullback here from 135 guys to the exit that was about a 20% return and I did exit at 162 that's where I had my final take which was I, I believe almost perfectly uh, 20 percent I scaled out on my main uh, account I took the entire 
XR. My entire shares off. I flattened out at 162 on my small account. And why did I have it at 162 if I said 160? Well, the momentum was building, volume was building, guys. And sometimes what they try to do is they try to test that 160 level and trying to catch some bulls here. This is a, a bull trap, right? So I just put it up here and it triggered and then I was out. If it continued moving higher, I didn't care. It looked like it was just gonna kind of test that breakout and then as soon as it broke it out, it came back in. Look at the selling pressure, guys. That's your pump and dump. Look at the red here. That's how much people, how many people were selling it. This is your get out, go somewhere else. It's warning you, it's gonna dump. And sure enough, it just dumped the rest of the way, guys. And that's why you don't want to hold penny stocks because they don't have growth value. They're just, um, how can I put this uh, in, a, in words that you'll understand, uh, that you'll understand what I'm trying to say. They're like rental cars. You have them for a while, then you gotta give them back. That's, that's the way, I think that's the best way to explain it. They're just rental cars. We're here for one, two, three days, get our money's worth if it works, and then get out. That's it, okay? So, that's what happened in AMST. Now, let's go ahead and look for, or go over our current trades. And, okay, so this one, guys, the market was weak all over, and when the market's weak, when it's a bear market, there will always, there will always be a bull market. We just gotta find it, all right? And in the penny stock market, there was very few, but this one, this one was, strong in particular compared to the market so i do have my shares in my small account here now i do have multiple accounts I, i'm only holding it in my small account i'm not holding anything else in any other account just in that so you can see my sell limits right now with a good till cancel plus extended day uh order or time in force so if in the market in the pre-market on monday when it opens uh, it does make the move and I'm not able to catch it because I'm asleep or whatever You know, it'll trigger me out if it's during tradable hours on my platform on my thinkorswim platform If not, then when I wake up, I can cancel this too And if it's already coming down and it's a 3, I'll take profits. I'll be happy with that I'll be happy with 320. I'll be happy with 280. You know, I'm not a greedy person. It's a swing trade I'm gonna be saving a, a day trade I actually didn't have a day trade. So, you know, I'm just happy that if it opens up higher and I'm able to take profits when I'm awake or when the market opens and I'll be happy and I'll take profits and move on. But the ideal scenario here is that it stays here and then it pushes its way up. Now we gotta keep in mind that $3 hole level for a first profit target and then maybe the gap, or not the gap fill, but to this uh, previous support level of $3.50. So that's the reason I set it high, but this is just for pre-market action if it happens. If it doesn't, again, I'll cancel it and, and uh, get out of the trade. That's VVOS. Okay, so HEPS, guys. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here, guys, and I'm gonna explain why I feel comfortable. As, as I'm still holding this and I feel comfortable holding it. I'm gonna explain why. So I had a $2 entry. I didn't catch that $2 entry, but you can see this upper trend line right here. I was okay with buying around this uh, previous day's high, which was 209 right i bought it 210 and 211 so i'm averaging around a two two dollars and ten two dollars and eleven cent cost basis and why am i comfortable buying up here well i bought at a previous candles uh high so i'm, I'm okay with that and i understand what's down here this is where support comes in guys so if you notice the price action down here it was below you know the two emas it broke over the 90 MA, the 90 MA became support here, and it also became rejection. Now, once it broke over, we got the nine holding support, the nine holding support, and then now it broke above both of them, right? And then we got this 20 EMA, this is the purple line, right? You can see that it's right there. So let's go ahead and, and uh, kind of see what we wanna ha have, or what we want those nine, uh, the nine and the 20 EMA to do so we got the 20 EMA moving up slightly right we got the 9 EMA closing in converging with the 20 what we want to see the 9 do is we want to see it cross we want to see it cross over the 20 so this can hold the price and move it higher 
we also had the two dollar whole dollar support on the bottom so we got all these levels of support coming together to build major support right here for the price for the price action to stay above the two dollar level so if that happens then we can trade comfortably until it breaks below those levels right so once it, if it does break below then you know what just we just cut it and move on it just didn't work the way we wanted it to and and that's sometimes it happens we gotta accept it but we gotta understand that we have major support uh indicators and price levels down here price has been consistent so if we get a little more volume and we get that push guys we can see probably a move all the way up to this rejection up here to 260 so you know if it works out from our entry of 210 let's say at 250 at the half dollar we we take profit that's a 20 percent return with a chance of making 25 percent again i don't want to be greedy i'll probably take profits at 2 235 240 250 we'll see how it trades if it works first of all but that's what we have right now heps now let's go ahead and get it into the watch list and then we'll go over potential place potential setups tigr now tigr it's a it's an adr ADRs are Chinese stocks. They trade in the Chinese market. But again, nine holding support, 20 holding support. So if it breaks over five, then we can get a push to $6 for a 20% return. That's basically it. Um, right now, I know I did call out, or I had DI, DI, DD on my watch list at a entry at five. I didn't take it because again, everything that's going on with the Chinese market, I wanna stay away from as much as possible but if there's an opportunity in TIGR to I will take it again it's not my top choice but it's there because it, there's a potential setup G O R O I had to go out G O R O again same idea guys broke above the 9 the 20 came back in now it's trading above the 50 EMA. You got this nine or this EMAs as possible support, as you can see, bounced off of the 50, bounced off of the 50. And then we also have a bullish crossover. We got the nine crossing over the 20. So that's great. Now we can see that the nine might also cross over the 50 we might get this action too so we can probably have something that looks like this maybe two three days or maybe one day we don't know and then we can hopefully get a move to the two dollar level that's about a 10 percent return guys again we're looking for stuff that gives a that's going to give us five to ten percent which will make our trades worthwhile i o is the next one all right guys so at first glance you know it's oversold downtrend but now Let's go ahead and take our, our price level two. Now we see a double bottom, guys. So we got a double bottom. We got the 90 MA acting as resistance, the 20 acting as resistance. Resistance. So now if it breaks that 97 cent level, then we gotta move all the way, a possible move all the way to the 50 MA, the 20 dollar uh, 20 cent level. If that happens guys an entry here at the break of the 20 EMA that's a 23% return 20% return depending on our entry and a good move I would love to see this just to let you know I would love to see this candle here our entry and then the following day the second day continuation but again that's just my preferred way of trading it we'll see how it sets up and how it works might be a day trade might be a swing trade we don't know ftk ftk guys this one as you can see i've been keeping track of it because uh, you can see the downtrend and then this is a possible reversal right we got uh, let me change tool here we have the pole here we have the move higher we got downtrend consolidation a pullback which is a flag pattern, right? You see that flag. So I'm, I'm thinking an entry. I have this uh, trend line here where it was support, 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 resistance, resistance, resistance. So I got a buy zone between the 105 and 115 level. Now I don't want to enter at 105 and possibly add at 110. And then from there on, we got to move all the way to the top of the pattern if it works 
to the 135, 136 level where the 180 SMA is. We gotta take profits in between. So an entry anywhere around here, guys, let's say our entry, it's just at 110. That would give us a 23, 20% return depending on our entry. So I say that counts as a really nice move if it works out. ALJJ guys, now on this one, I've had it on, on uh, uh, I believe on, on another educational video. And I talk about, in that video, I talk about how to look for um, historical data, which is basically looking to the left, right? Looking this way. What's going on over here? And what's going on right now? So historical data says that whenever it takes a, or has a huge move, it gets slapped back down. Has a move, comes back down as a move comes back down so basically it doesn't hold any levels right that's what it's telling us so it's telling us that this is not a good swing trading vehicle at this point in time now what's going on here well there's something that's changed okay it's defying its historical data and that's something that might be good for us because now it's holding levels this is a simply a merely a, a pullback okay so we got this flag pattern right now but I would feel more comfortable entering right here guys you see those two yellow lines because that's where we have one two three four times resistance so I would like to enter here possibly even when it breaks so I would like to build a position somewhere here just to have a little more confirmation where could it go we have a previous rejection of 216 and of course we know that 278 level so let's say we get we get in at 190 and we take profits at 220 that's a 15 percent return and if it does make that huge move higher we have a possibility of about a 45 47 percent return but again don't be greedy if it works out if we do enter the trade um we start scaling out we, we start taking profits as it's moving up into strength now for some potential setups guys uh let's start with the first one here svfd so this one had a good green day here we see that there was a lot of buying pressure what's currently going on well right now it's trading down here right above the 20 and the 90 ma you can see that the 90 ma is about to cross over the 20 so that can be a bullish signal that's exactly where it bounced on this day right now we would want to see we want to see the price action Kind of bounce around here for a while just build a base build a base and then take off so i would enter at the break of the 50 ema around five dollars five dollars and five cents somewhere there and then uh take it for a swing trade for a possible move all the way up to the seven dollar level so svfd a possible swing trade candidate in either this week this coming week or maybe two weeks from now but we got to keep it on watch LLNW this was this one was on my watch list or was going to be on my watch list I didn't add it because I was expecting one more day before it took off and they had also had earnings but the earnings was what sent it higher and we were focused on other trades so basically guys the pattern was solid we had this cup and handle bullish bullish sign right but we had earnings here and I was I was in between a yes and a no I was so in the middle and I just said if I'm in doubt I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna call it out and sure enough I think earnings were good and look at the look at the results so what can we look for as a potential setup now well now my preferred way to trade this is for it to start building a little cup here that little curling action right so we get the huge move and then that curling action or maybe a flag pattern and then the move higher so that would be my ideal setup that curling action enter at the top of this candle and then to the five dollar level pt again i called this one out at the break of one on friday and i didn't take the trade because it failed to break over the one dollar level at first attempt but it got it on the second attempt and then it closed at 140 with a uh, power hour move right so same idea here either a flag pattern or that curling action that's what i would want to see evfm a previous day trade that we had successful on this day 
and now look at the the way it's trading it's in between the 50 and the 20 right so right now it bounced off the fifth uh, nine and the 20 ema so i think my entry would be my starter position would be at the break of this candle that's why i have this uh alert with my price level line at 45 cents that would be my starter entry and then if it breaks over 50 at, at around 40.46 cents or 47 cents i would add for a full position and a possible move to 65 cents for a gap fill play you see the gap there so that's what we're looking for that's a huge move and uh, hopefully a swing trade opportunity here will give us a good return on it okay guys so in this one i'm going to talk about some market divergence i do have some forum posts where i talk about my uh, market divergence and convergence right now i see divergence here it is an oversold pattern but it's making a, a move higher but what's going on with the move higher let's go ahead and take a closer look well the price is going up guys right so it's going in this direction but if we look down here the volume is going in the opposite direction this is called market divergence they're moving away from each other and, and that's uh, not a good sign but what's the possible setup here well we know that the 50 the 9 and the 20 can become support so what we want to see is for this to kind of come back and, and curl back up with consistent volume and then if we get a move higher it might take it a, a week it might take two weeks for the setup to work but we got to keep it on watch we got to make sure that this emas act as support because now we got major support we also have the 9 crossing over the 20 which is a bullish signal and if this continues moving higher we can see the 50 is moving this way it's starting to turn and we got this one coming in hard we're gonna get that 9 and 50 EMA crossover which can build some momentum so it, the move might set up sooner than later guys we'll see but that's how we start preparing for some of the trades that's how i start preparing for some of these trades and that's why i keep them on the watch list and keep on continue monitoring them and if the trade or the setup is no longer valid if we get something like this then all i do is i just go here delete it and get it off of the watch list so that's how i keep track of all the trades that i see value in or that are potential future trades for us Guys, um, that is it for me. We'll catch you on the next one.